Good day and welcome to MaxPreps.com. I am Chris Stonebreaker. This is Zach Poff, and you are here on America's Source for High School Sports. Yes, they are. And <laughs> Stone, what do we got going on this weekend? All-Star Weekend in Basketball. Yeah, so that got us thinking here, Max yep. Preps. What if we had an All-Star game with some of the best talent in high school basketball? Are you a fan of that? Regardless of class. Regardless of class. It's just not seniors, juniors. West versus East. So let's pull up the West team first. Let's, let's hit on the West boys first, and... Uh, Talk about talent, Stone. So much talent. Maybe it's because we're here on the West Coast yeah. that we know these names a little bit more. But one of the questions that I wanted to ask you while you looking got? at this graphic is, I know the fan favorites, the voting yeah. usually gets a lot of drama. Who starts, who doesn't because of fans voting. So man, I get to pick the five? Pick your five okay. that the fans would vote okay. for. Well, LaMelo Ball, easy. He scored 92 in a game. So LaMelo, uh, you know, he became a national sensation. Yep. So let's let's throw in two Ball brothers. Yeah. We'll oh, go okay. with LiAngelo Ball also. So Big market, probably a yeah. lot of votes. So let's get a couple of the top recruits in too. We got Bagley the third from mm -hmm. Sierra Canyon, the number one recruit in the 2018 class. And we're going to have DeAndre Ayton and Michael Porter Jr. round out the top five. Those are the top two guys in the 2017 class. That's a good starting five right there. That is a good LiAngelo and LaMelo Ball. DeAndre Ayton inside. Then you got Porter and Bagley on the wings. They're great. I would probably substitute LiAngelo for Bull Bull because yeah. as we learned with the Greek Freak, if you could spell yeah. the name, you probably are going to get a lot more votes. Yeah, no one's spelling And everyone's going to gonna spell Bull Bull right. No. He's in a large market. I'm going to go with his name up there on it. Wait. And let us know, too, who you think should be started yep. who would start this game now stone let's let's go to the east coast let's east. check out notorious big who he'd mm -hmm. be rolling out who you, you i did the fan voting who i think would be the top five who you got i'm going on this side of course the leader in the clubhouse maybe i think lamello gets a lot of, of votes on yeah. the west mm -hmm. I, but for sure on the east zion yeah. williamson would be the leading Listen, drake well, was rocking a zion <laughs> williamson jersey so that if that's happening lot. you know people are going to know the name I would love to see Colin Sexton and yeah. Trey Duvall together out there on a on a court Those with Zion bring it. They in bring one All-Star game would be so much fun to watch. To throw in there, let's just give you a, a Wendell Carter. He's going to Duke. You yeah. know those Dukey fans are going to be throwing out some votes. He's the number four player in the class of 2017. And uh, just to give another big man, so we have the three guards, we'll go Bamba, number three. Yeah. And he's uncommitted, so people are probably going to vote for him just to see him yeah. and to see his talent. And a guy that I might have thrown in, uh, he's the top guy in the sophomore class, and that's R.J. Barrett from Montford Academy. Montford Academy is you know, one of the most national powers when it comes yeah. to high school basketball. Basketball, he's having a big time here. But I, I like your. And five. he could probably have a good yeah. case if all the cities that Montgomery yeah. is traveling yeah. to, if they did a nice little like vote for RJ little yeah. campaign, they could yeah. probably get him a lot of votes. Yeah, I mean Chris Bosh back in the Raptor days, you remember him <laughs> doing that? You see Andre Drummond yeah. and guys like that do it too. So Stone, let's run through some guys. Let's start with the West Coast and. Uh, I mean, you want to start with Marvin Bagley or what? I'm going to start with Marvin Bagley. It's an easy, low-hanging fruit for right. me to start with. We got the 6'10 power forward, Marvin Bagley, as I said on the lower third right there, of Sierra Canyon High School in California. He's the number one recruit in the class of 2018, and some would argue the best player regardless of class. I would be in that boat. <laughs> His first season with the Trailblazers, and Bagley is averaging 25-10 and 10 against one of the stiffest schedules in the country. Yeah. He also led Sierra Canyon to a 25-1 and 1 overall record and number two ranking in the country alongside UCLA commit Cody Riley and ASU commit Remy Martin. I was in attendance for the 43 point outing at the Nike you were filming this too, so. and I was filming it. Yes, yes, and he broke the single game scoring record once held by Shabazz Muhammad of 41 wow. and he played for Bishop Gorman in yeah. 2012. Power. Now he's in the NBA of course. Now Stone, uh, another guy that knows how to score a lot of points, that would be LaMelo Ball. He put up 92 points in one game. That's double this year. what the next 92. Shot. That's more than double, That's bro. You got to go double. back and get those math skills <laughs> no, just... test up. But uh, <laughs> this kid is super flashy, man. And the 92 point stone, one of seven guys in the last 25 years to score at least 90. So that's pretty good. Incredible. This is why I think he's ready for the All Star game, though. I think he's the best passer, most flashy for sure, in all of high school basketball. Lamella Ball would be pure entertainment. Now, Stone. Since LaMelo started playing in his freshman season, which team has his record over the last, you know, 62 plus? and 1. That's pretty good. So. Very good. Now, his brother, yep. Jello Ball, he. 
he's probably the best scorer in the family. You got Lonzo, obviously at UCLA doing things. He's he's kind of the all-around guy. Yeah. Melo, just straight flashy. Jello, though, this dude can score the rock with the best of them. Now, a lot the of, nicest stroke of oh, the three as well. Easy. It's not even close. He's got <laughs> the best shot of the three. Now, Stone, earlier this year, he had a 56-point game. What do you do in his next outing? 72. That's pretty good. I'm just it, acing this quiz. Dude, you're good. You're good. Well, the math <laughs> earlier with Bagley's numbers to Melo wasn't so good. But I, I just love what both these guys bring to the table. And if they were in an all-star type of game, Melo and Jello Ball might be the talk of the town yeah. if they were playing in this type of game. It'd be fun. But uh, we still got the top two recruits to look at too, right? You have to. I mean, we spoke about him a little earlier within the fan voting. Yeah. Let's bring him up right now. If I get to talk about the top two recruits in the class of 2017, DeAndre Ayton of Hillcrest High School in Arizona and Michael Porter Jr. of Nathan Hill in Seattle, Washington would be the two. I'm starting with Michael Porter. Mm -hmm. That's what we're going to do because you know what? He has turned Nathan Hill around in one year after transferring from Father Tolton in Missouri. A year after taking the Trailblazers to a Missouri State title last year, he goes to the Northwest and has the Raiders 23-0 and and number one in the country after after handing Sierra Canyon their only loss That's on the it. season. Oh, kill too, right? Yeah, and in that Les Schwab Invitational where he handed Sierra Canyon that loss, he averaged 32 and 17. His coach, wow. Brandon Roy, who played for the Trailblazers, mm-hmm. actually said that it's going to be like LeBron James in high school, yeah. but in college, in college, when he goes to college. It's going to be like Take that Take it good. easy, B. <laughs> Take it easy, all he, right? He put up some big names. Now, as for DeAndre Ayton, the seven-foot Bahamas native is an Arizona commit and has been at the top of his class since his days in the 6-1-9. I, like I love that area coach shout out, bro. <laughs> now that he is in Arizona, he is the first McDonald All-American from the state since Jared Bayless in 2007. And he's following in Jared Bayless's footsteps yep. as well by going okay. to Arizona. He's a big guy. We were laughing about it earlier. It's like not cool no. to say you're a sinner when you're seven feet tall now. No. And he does have a great build. He's a little more developed than a Muhammad Bamba, who we'll talk he's about all right later. But he can shoot. He has a very good all-around game. And now, at one time, he was actually the number one overall recruit as well by a lot of recruiting yeah. agencies. So You can't go wrong with Aiden or Porter. Now, Stone, a guy that played with Michael Porter Jr. over the summer in AAU ball is that bad dude right there, Norman North's five-star PG, Trey Young. Now, Stone, when I was watching Mocan Elite, I believe that Trey Young was the best player on the floor with Michael Porter Jr., so that's saying something. Yeah. Now, Trey Young, this boy knows how to get buckets. AAU you basketball is different. Yeah, you do course. have a lot more guard oriented yeah. play. So oh, yeah, of course, of course. He has a lot more in. open space, yeah. everything like that. Now Stone, he's averaging over 40 points per game this year. So he's doing things <laughs> he's doing in high nice school things. hoops too. And he also said in Oklahoma class 6A record, he put up 62 points earlier this month. Trey Young, a bad dude, and earlier this week he just committed. Say he stayed home. He wants to he's stay home. He's gonna be a Sooner, he Oklahoma. I thought he was gonna go to Kansas. The winning mentality. Back. I'll just say this, Trey. I, I got mad respect. Your game's good, man. But they were just in the Final Four with Buddy, Buddy Hill. Was just so, took him there. But he's a hey, Oklahoma nation. He can bring the same type of things that Buddy yeah. Hill brought to the table, and can have Oklahoma back in it because this year's just not been that good for Oklahoma this year. Trey Young can get him back afloat too. Oh, so for sure, for that's sure. a squad though. That's a squad. It's a squad. Now let's go from the west to the east. Mm -hmm. I had the opportunity to tell you my top five fan voting and this was the guy I told you would lead the way. Man, now I wow. should be giving this segment to Max Preps writer Lyndon <laughs> Ostrander. Now Zion Williamson That's of Spartanburg That's Day in South Carolina has even Drake wearing his mm. jersey. The junior is ranked number two in the class of 2018, but number one when it comes to highlight creation. The human highlight reel himself. You can't go a week without seeing Zion in your social feed doing one of his patented windmills or head above the rim blocks. Zion Williamson. He does it all. Yeah, he would be entertaining to have in an all-star game and in general. So no. be looking out for him when he makes his commitment. That might be the biggest commitment 
of the year when he says when, where he's going. When Drake was rocking your jersey, like, how's that feel? Like, Drake don't even rock guys in the NBA jersey. It he's must out be here. like just because it's cool or something. Look now, speaking of cool, Trey Duvall's game is really cool. This mm-hmm. dude reminds me, I've been saying this for the last two years. Who does he remind me of, Stone? Russell. Oh, look at he's Russell Westbrook. Now, the reason why I, I call him Russ 2.0 is this kid is so competitive, very athletic. He just wants to get dirty on the floor, and he makes things happen. My Poor dad. Spencer Friedman right there going up for a layup yeah. and not in Trey's house. But Trey Duvall, man, he's one of the, the most athletic PTPers in the country. IMG 25-1 and one this year. IMG's been big time in football over the last few years. Mm-hmm. Now they're turned to a powerhouse in basketball. Trey Duvall, one of the big reasons why is he transferred from Texas over here to Florida playing this year. Now IMG is number one in the independent top ten and they're number two in the computer ranking. So IMG is winning ball games this year. A lot has to do with Trey Duvall and uh I would love to see him guard Mellow Ball and or Trey Young, though. How yeah. about a matchup right there? Would you, he'd be having to guard Mellow for 80 feet. I mean, it's going to be... I would even... His game is so tenacious, he would be like, I want Michael Porter. <laughs> yeah, he would. I could see that taken out. He's, now, a, he's a beast. From Trey, let's go to the big men. Um, I told everyone that he would probably be one of the top vote-getters as well because... He's the number three recruit in the country. Mohamed Bamba of West Town School in New York is the number three overall recruit in the class of 2017. Right now, he is uncommitted. So that brings a lot of intrigue. Yeah. So you know, Duke people want to probably, right? Exactly, yes. So you can be sure, though, that the 6'11 forward will be playing D1 next year. I, I'm almost certain well, that will happen. I would say you can book it. You can book it. The likes of Duke and Kentucky want his talent, especially Carolina, if you're looking at him right now and you notice he has an incredible 7'8 wingspan. Wow. And a nine foot five standing reach, so, so he can almost dunk. Without if you could get dunking. him a little more weight on his bones, so he can handle the likes of a DeAndre Ayton and stuff, he has a six eleven frame, athletic, long reach. He's going to be just someone to deal with on the defensive yeah. side for sure. And then go from there. You work on and some of your skills. That's a nice little turnaround. The scary thing with Mo too, he's developing still, it's so he's still not even close to hitting that ceiling. Oh yeah, he's just getting started, man. And he's already what the number three recruit. So yeah. That's big time now. We got two other guys we're going to run through. Potential. potential. That word potential. Yeah, he's when got he potential. Is really good. Another guy with a high up, up ceiling is Kevin Knox. This dude's a beast. Five star power forward from Tampa Catholic. Number eight overall recruit. He's averaging 30 and 11 this year. He's getting buckets, getting rebounds. The six foot eight hooper, just like Mo, uncommitted. And uh, it looks like it's going to be Duke, Kentucky, or Carolina. Not a not a bad trio to, to pick it's between. Go to Carolina, though. You know? <laughs> Go to Carolina. You'll get more PT instead of going to Duke or Kentucky. Let's just be real. One more guy still I want to hit on. Colin Sexton. Dude's bad. Yes. Now, he, you know who he reminds me of? Not the game, but the style of play. He was my favorite player growing up outside of Penny Hardaway. It was Gary Payton. Oh. I love the way he talks a little smack on the court, but he backs it up. Colin Sexton, one of the best point guards in the country. You watch him on TV. You watch him on, on the computer, you're just instantly impressed with Colin Sexton. He's got a great all-around game. He's tenacious, man. He wants it. He's going to Alabama. Surprise some people, maybe. He's going to ball for Avery Johnson, man, but he's mean. I like it. You want to play for Avery Johnson. I mean, he yeah. loves you if you play for mm-hmm. him. That Those two teams right there, yeah. best two teams that you could put who, who on paper. Who Jason it? Hickman, National Basketball Editor, thank you for uh, yeah. compiling all those little I know there's some snubs, too, so let us know who you think are yeah. potential snubs. People are probably going to say a guy like MJ Walker. Yeah. He got snubbed. But at but the end of the day, too, it's like, who are you taking off? Yeah. You know? Well, who do you take off? Who do you add? You only have 12 spots. People Stop aren't going to make it. Stop avoiding the question. Who are you taking? West. Yeah. I take West. Just, I I, I, I take, I know. But I know. But I have to take the West Coast with A.N. and Bagley and Porter. I can't even go You didn't even mention Porter. the Ball Brothers. No, but I like the Ball Brothers, but, like, Porter is a yeah. game changer as well Same thing with right now, and Bagley is, yeah. and you throw in the ball, brother. Listen, I'm going to pick – wait, bring up the East real quick. Let's see. I might make it – I might. And I really like Jalen Hands. People this, don't know about it. He's solid. Yeah. And the thing I like about the East, though, yeah. I think they got a lot more guys that are mean. 
They do have, a, but that's the East Coast in general. It right? is. It they is. Got that attitude like, on the East like, Coast hey, that everyone likes. Listen, if Zion got the rock and he's coming down full speed, I can tell you one thing: people Balls are putting are on their blinkers. <laughs> they getting out the way. They going left and right because Zion is going into dunk and hurt feelings. Called Sexton. Sexton. He talks more trash than anyone. I don't I think Lamelo Ball is going to take a charge from Zion. I don't, dude. Trey Duvall. Mm, I'm going west though. I'm a West Coast guy. I'm going with the West Coast. Yeah, I like the East, man. They you got, say that, but they're tough, get, bro. They got they got some some tough dudes out there. They'll be there. playing defense from start to finish, and you know what? They Trey probably Duvall is probably my it. favorite player in high school basketball. Yeah. But I gotta go. I like I'm a big well, Manila Ball guy too. Well, we made this show long enough. It was yeah. a great show. A ton of content, ton of video. We hope you all enjoyed it. Again, this is just if we were to make yeah. an All Star. This is this has actually we also got a nothing what? to do with actually our Player of the Year or no. End of the Year awards. This is just this having is just fun. All Star game. All Star weekend. Testing. Now Stone, people be on the lookout. We got a, another What If High School Dunk contest yes. going on. We want you guys to interact and let us know who you think would win. Yep. I think a couple guys from this might be in it too. Oh yeah. Well, man, you tell us who you think would take on the High School Dunk Championship if we were to put it together. Yeah. My name is Chris Stonebreaker. This is Zach Poff. And keep on clicking on to MaxPreps.com, America's source for high school sports.